What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and what we're going to be talking about today in this video is the meta of the game, what we have seen so far since that big update dropped, uh, you know, when we had a lot of these troop buffs where we've had Town Hall 11 get new defenses and a lot of people question even before the update when the update actually dropped, how the meta is going to change. Where is the 10v11 game gonna go? Is there gonna be 11v11 action now? Uh, will 10v10s increase? So all that stuff we're gonna cover today in the little bit that we've seen so far so what we're going to do right here, we did have an arranged war, a midweek arranged war, no less, against Chosen Elite, where we did take the victory 112 to 109. The war was a lot of fun. Again, it being a midweek, uh, but regardless, was a very, very fun war, very competitive. So uh, for those of you guys that don't know about Chosen Elite, they were in CWL Premier. They're actually in our own division, in the Goblin Division, dropped out middle to end of uh, the season. And I don't know, basically, I guess they disbanded, but they've all come back, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, we've seen a lot of these clans um, coming back into the game. Uh, we've had Chosen Elite, we've had TWSS make a return, we've had uh, TDK, which is the Dark Knights that have also come back and returned. Uh, and I think it's cool that we have these clans kind of, you know, rejoining and, you know, getting back into the competitive war scene. At any rate, it's way besides the point. But anyway, we did have an arranged war against Chosen Elite, who is back now, w winning 112 to 109. And first, what I want to do is start off with the 10v11 game which was the big one. A lot of people were questioning, okay guys, we have these new defenses. Um, is this gonna make it to where if there's an anti-2 setup, if a base is set up anti-2, um, will a Town Hall 10 be able to, th you know, be able to, to two-star it uh, with the new defense or the new upgrades to the Archer Towers, the cannons, and most importantly, the new uh, level 5 Inferno Tower. So if you guys take a look at this base right here, I'm gonna go hit replay. I'll just pause it real quick. So this is what the base looks like right here. Uh, this is from Seco or K Kiko. Uh, we have Rodney taking it on. Check out the Inferno Towers, guys. Uh, these are the level 5 Inferno Towers. And we also have all the Archer Towers on this base have also been upgraded. These are the new Archer Towers, as well as the new Cannons. This is one of the uh, level 14 Cannons, but these ones here are the level 15. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to go ahead and hit play, and just watch what happens. This is, uh, I mean, this is what a Town Hall 11 looks like as far as being anti-2. And again, all the defenses maxed except for... I, I literally think it's just that one cannon right there, uh, right here by this camp that this minion's picking off. I think that's the only cannon uh, that's not upgraded. All the other defenses are the new uh, defenses. And as you guys probably saw already, this is going to be doubled by a Town Hall 10. So it begs the question, is the 10v11 game dead? Um, not, myself included, as well as many others, we all thought it was. Uh, a lot of us thought that the 10v11 game could not happen. There was going to be way too much DPS um, on the battlefield, not to mention the not only the extra damage output from the, the new level of Inferno Towers, um, but how much hit points they have, plus doing more damage. Uh, we just didn't think it was going to be possible uh, to double these 11s. There's just going to be too much. Uh, as you guys know, the troops that got buffs for Town Hall 10 were were three star troops um as far as hogs miners dragons um your your other than dragons your 10v11 troops didn't get buffed there wasn't a buff to golems there wasn't a buff uh to bowlers or baby drags or the heroes or you know anything like that so um that's why a lot of us thought okay supercell doesn't want this 10v11 action anymore <clears throat> And clearly, I mean, here we have uh, Rodney, he is at 52% uh, on this hit, guys. 53% um, now, and did very, very well. Just has a golem left. We can go ahead and times for that. But I mean, we got, I mean, 53% uh, double, fully maxed, <clears throat> fully, fully maxed. 
uh, again, with the exception of that one cannon. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at another hit. We'll go ahead and scout this one. This is from Goat. Okay, so if we take a look at Goat's base, the Inferno Towers, okay, these are both um, fully maxed. These are new, level five. Uh, the cannons, I don't think he's touched the cannons yet, but he has touched a few of the archer towers, like this one, that's level 15, uh, we got level 15, we got level 15 right there, um, so this one's not as, as, uh, fully maxed, um, or isn't fully maxed like number one, but we do have a few of the archer towers done, and the level, uh, both Inferno Towers upgraded. So we'll go ahead and hit replay on this one as well, guys. And I, I don't know. I mean, it's just a, a, you know, it's only a couple of replays. Um, the other bases have not been uh, really touched. I, I think like number, uh, their number three of uh, Chosen Elites has like one of the Inferno Towers down. So I definitely wanted to show you guys both of these attacks, doing it with Bowler Smash. And Again, you know, I'd like to hear what you guys think down in the comments, uh, in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Is, is the 10v11 game going to be dead? Or is it dead? I mean, watching these replays, I mean, it's kind of hard to argue the fact, um, that it won't be. Because, you know, we, we've done it. I mean, Rodney four-packed this war, again, using Bowler Smash. And, obviously, again, number one being fully maxed, this one has a few of the Archer Towers done, uh, done, both Inferno Towers done, and makes quick work of the base, uh, still has the Queen ability, he's at 52%, uh, 53% once that Town Hall went down, and I think he's even going to get, yeah, he's going to get a few more buildings here as well, he's just out of range of that Eagle Artillery, uh, very, very nicely done, 54%, and counting as he does still have that ability, so, at any rate, I would like to hear what you guys think um, of this down in the comment section below. But, you know, what I'd have to say is, I, I, I really don't think it's dead. Ending at 57%. Um, and, you know, same thing with these bases right here. And it's not like these were crappy layouts. I mean, these were, uh, you know, kind of your, your average run-of-the-mill uh, Town Hall, uh, anti-2 Town Hall 11 layout. Some people said, well, if there's more 11 v 11 action uh then these town hall 11s are going to go anti three which would make the 10 v 11 easier but we're, we're just not seeing that same thing with the 10 v 10 uh one thing i did want to point out on both sides uh right here so this was a 5 15 breakdown look at that guys look at that right there going perfect uh going perfect on our dips so could not i mean Big shout out to our 11s going 10 for 10 uh, on these dips. Uh, again, being a 5-15 breakdown. And same thing for their side. They actually did struggle with our number one. Uh, excuse me, with our number two, AZ Top Gun. Had to send an 11 at it to get the two star. But they did go 9 for 10. So one thing we have seen an increase of is the 11 v 10 dip game. Uh, which Town Hall 11s are using hogs. They're using miners. We've even uh, seen some dragon attacks. Still using loons. Um, not a lot of queen walk or uh, queen charges using those new healers. Uh, but regardless, we have seen a, a huge increase in um, 11 v 10s. Uh, not failing as much, uh, which is really, really good. And yeah, right there, going perfect, guys. So as we scroll down here, we did have two 10 v 10s this war. Um, not as many as, as you would think. Uh, here's, yeah, here's the first one right here. Um, we got Blue Sparky, aka Richie, uh, going in on this base, uh, using a CB Lalo. And this base absorbed a lot of hits, guys. Um, we tried to hit this base with hogs a few times. Uh, got pretty close. Uh, was not able to get it down with hogs. And we did hit it a couple times with Lalo. I want to say we hit this base probably five or six times. I'd say about five or six times. Finally, we're able to get it done. Um, so, to talk about Town Hall 10, and this is a really interesting one. Um, some people are saying how OP miners are. Some people are saying how, um, mine, you know, miners still suck ass. You know, they. why did I upgrade them to level three? Why did I gem them? Um, I think miners are just as fair as any of the other troops when it comes to anything over 
basically a tier three and up, or say like an 88K and up. Um, it's definitely not a gimme attack. It's not just gonna be a gimme attack. Uh, it still has to be planned out enough. You know, it, you're not just, you know, dropping down the heroes, face rolling uh, your phone or your tablet uh, with miners, dropping your heels, and then you're walking away with a three star. Uh, we're just not seeing that. Even in this war, we did have a few minor attacks. And, I mean, they failed. Um, they, they just did not have enough gas uh, to get through the back end of the base. And it's not like the Inferno Towers, you know, were protected. It, was not, it wasn't like the base was an anti-miner layout. Um, they, I mean, they're not the miners that they were, that they, they're not the miners that they once were, <laughs> if that makes sense, uh, where they still have that delay, uh, where, you know, where they drop down. Um, I mean, level three is a big, big deal, especially for all you guys going to tier one out there. Uh, there has been, you know, a lot of people that are upgrading to tier one. Big recommendation is to level up those miners to level three guys, because miners are smashing the lighter weight bases, which you guys um, are gonna see in uh, a, a, a different attack. Not from this war, but a different attack that we're gonna get into very, very shortly. Um, and they're, so the lighter bases, they seem to completely wreck. Fully maxed ones, it's still very, very difficult. Uh, it's usually involving some type of a queen walk or a queen charge. Haven't seen, have not seen a lot of boner attacks. Uh, just not, you know, just have not seen them. Uh, real quick, we'll go ahead and show the other. This was the only, they didn't even have a 10v10, I don't think. Um, and we had two. So again, guys, it's not like, uh, you know, the hogs are, are incredibly OP or the miners are OP. Uh, you know, the, the dragon attacks. Um, bitch, you know, things like that. It still has to be, you still have to have the right troops for the right base layout. It, you know, there's not an, uh, uh, there, there isn't a cure all, um, attack where it's going to work, where it's going to work on any type of base, you know, any type of layout, you know, like we saw with the old miners, you could literally use the old miners on pretty much any type of, uh, town hall 10 layout, uh, HGHB uh, back when HGHB was a thing at town hall nine. You could pretty much use that attack on any Town Hall 9 and you'd smash. Uh, for the most part. For the most part. There's always exceptions to the rule. But you guys get what I'm saying. As, as far as um, there's not an attack that is you know, leading the charge over any other in Town Hall 10. And I, I still think Town Hall 10, it, it's in a good place. We have seen an increase, a slight increase. Not a high one. I mean, the CWL League, um, the CWL League hit rate for 10v10 is 17 percent very very low much lower obviously than any of the other uh hit rates of any of the other town hall uh of the, any of the other town halls um i would definitely say that that is going to increase no doubt um especially when we start seeing the tier ones on the map even though they're not included as a town hall 10 but the lighter bases are pretty much being smashed um with miners I mean, they're pretty much being smashed with miners. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward through this. Big uh, shout out to Richie uh, getting a 10v10 six pack. The only uh, 10v10s are the only Town Hall 10 triples of this war. Um, so really, really good job to him. Really smashing it on these bases. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and check out um, our war against war bears real quick. All right, guys, so this was a random matchup, an even breakdown, no less, uh, against War Bears, also taking the victory, 111, a tie ball game, 111 to 111, awesome war, and it was even more amazing that it was an even breakdown. Uh, big shout out uh, to War Bears and the uh, Spartans Legacy uh, family. Big shout out to them. So this is uh, what I want to show you guys. So against Chosen Elite, we again we only had two 10v10s. This war was was a lot different right here. So this one right here, uh, where is it? Number 19. This was actually 9.5 uh, that I did hit with miners. Really not worth showing uh, showing the replay. But again, didn't even have Inferno Towers, but I was able. Um, I mean, basically dip down and get that one. Here's a hit right here by Rahat using um, Miner. So if you guys take a look at this base, this is pretty much um, what a tier one is going to look like, guys. Uh, the only other thing you can do, um, I mean, obviously the air defenses can be upgraded. 
uh, one of these Inferno Towers could go to level two, the Archer Tower. You can upgrade four Archer Towers or four cannons, uh, or vice versa, you could do two Archer Towers, two cannons, you know, something like that. Uh, you only can get 20 points um, before you become a tier two. But this is basically what a tier one is. So let's go ahead and take a look at Rahat hitting this base right here, doing it with mass miner. He's got 44 miners. He's got miners in the CC. He's bringing five uh, heal spells. Uh, just starting a little uh, funnel right there, trying to get that mortar down by that wizard. Was not able to get it. So here comes his king on one side. He's got the queen on the other. And he's basically just gonna face roll uh, miners in here. So dropping down one giant, this was a cleanup hit. Uh, that's why he dropped those wall breakers right there to get that giant bomb. So here comes the miners, guys. All 44 of them, he's got seven in, this, in the CC. So a total of 51 miners is just gonna run through this base right here. So this is another reason why I'm telling you guys, if, you, if, if you're a tier one, um, you know, or think about going to tier one and you're wondering what troops to upgrade, I'm telling you guys, miners will only help you. They will not hurt you um, when you're upgrading, especially in this new meta, this being a uh, post uh, update or, you know, where's the meta now type video. And we're just watching the, uh, watch him just face roll through this base. Um, does have a poison right there for the enemy queen. Uh, Going to go ahead and take care of that. Uh, did have... Um, a hound come out of the CC. That's another thing I wanted to talk about is the clan castles before guys um, Which is making it a lot more difficult especially on these lower bases before um, the update, okay All we would see was hound loon or hound something we would never see anything else That has definitely changed uh, since this recent update we're seeing a lot of Golem Loon, a lot of the guys in our clan are running golems coming out of the CC uh, to prevent miners. Because remember, when those, when you have a hound coming out of the CC, the miners obviously can't attack it. Uh, the golem, they do. And remember, when those golems pop, they do that splash damage, and all the miners will aggro onto that golem. Plus, so you basically have to burn a heal in a place where you might no not normally have used one. Uh, so anyway, good hit uh, to Rahat on this one. We do have a few different attack uh, styles to show you guys. Um, but anyway, we're, that is one of the things, especially if you're doing a fresh hit 10v10, you, I mean, you just don't know what's in the CC now. I mean... I would say seven out of ten are still, you know, still will still have a hound, but there's always going to be those few bases that do not have hounds coming out of the CC. I believe we had four 10v10s this war. Um, we also, yeah, we have Kodox right here. <clears throat> he's also, <clears throat> excuse me, he's also going to be using a Lalo on this one. Uh, this is, if I could guess, I would say this is a tier, this is definitely a tier two, not going to be a tier three. Uh, again, doing it with Lalo. So we are still seeing a variety, but again, there's not a gimme attack. And there has been a slight increase, but I mean, until 10v10, you know, until 10v10 pretty much gets to, I'd say 50%, 40 or 50% hit rate uh, across the board. Our, the Town Hall 11s with the current breakdowns that we have right now, where you have basically have three Town Hall 10s for each uh, Town Hall 11 on the map. Um, we're just not going to be seeing a lot of 11 v 11 opportunities. And usually if we do see 11 v 11 opportunity, it's because a Town Hall 10 wasn't able uh, to double that 11. So we have to send a Town Hall 11 um, at it. So anyway, so here we have a Lalo. Uh, we did look at one minor hit. We'll go ahead and times four this. Um, we have Kodox completely smash this one. Big shout out uh, to Mark. Glad he has returned uh, back to the clan. We definitely missed you and we're glad you're back. Big shout out to him. Uh, I did want to show you guys this one right here. Um, let me see. So we did have Rahat on this one. So what did, what did Rahat use on this one? Um, okay, this one was also a Lalo. So very good job to him. We did watch one of the, he also six packed uh, this war. So he's been, he's been doing very well lately. Uh, this one right here, we have Virgo, AKA Rex, uh, gonna be bitching this base right here. Um, so, and doing it where he's basically, uh, this was, this was really interesting. He's gonna be using two healers on the queen and using two healers um, 
on the witches on this one. So this was a really, really interesting attack. As you can see, um, I mean, I mean, typically you're going to be using four, if not five healers on your queen. But if you look at what can actually target her, uh, doesn't have to burn a whole lot. Uh, you know, it's only going to be targeted by a few things. And what he's going to do once his golems and all those bowlers come into the base, when he pops the ability, uh, you're going to see that that expo is going to redirect onto his kill squad. And the queen is just basically free to run through this base. Uh, not going to be a whole lot that's going to be able to shoot her down uh, where she'll be able... Well, she'll be able to handle it. Also, Hound Loon came out of the CC. Did have a nice poison for it. Uh, so, I mean, as far as the base layouts and what they look like, it's still very base dependent. Again, there's not a cure-all attack right now uh, for Town Hall 10, which a lot of people thought um, the miners were going to be. But it's just not the case. Um, which is good, at least for, you know, the, the war community. Uh, we don't want an attack that is just going to roll through every single base no matter what. Um, you know, that's when there's a lot, of frustra a lot of frustration. And that's when, you know, town halls start to be broken. I would say that uh, Town Hall 10, it's... I would say the hit rate is, there's no easy way to say it, obviously, but I would say the hit rate is going to increase, but there's not going to be a crazy OP attack. I do not think that it, the meta is going to turn um, to a bunch of 11v11 attempts where now Town Hall 11s have to go anti-3. I still think uh, 10v11 is still going to be a, a part of the meta, as we've already seen. Uh, two examples of that earlier in this video, um, pretty much fully max defense. Uh, Town Hall 11's still getting smashed. Um, so, I don't know. It's going to be really interesting. And I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say uh, in the comments section down below. And anyway, we did pick up a couple of victories in a row against War Bears and Chosen Elite. I mean, just back-to-back -back non-stop wars going on over here uh, in Forge from Steel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is kind of another one of those hashtag just saying videos. Um, and anyway, I really want to know what you guys have to think about the meta. Are we going to see more 11v11s? Is the 10v11 game alive or is it dead? Are we going to see an increase in 10v10s? Um, all those things, I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments section below. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always... This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.